Welcome to the intravenous cannulation tutorial for the Simman 3G. Insertion of an IV cannula involves putting a tube into a patient's vein so that infusions can be inserted directly into the patient's bloodstream. The same is true for the Simman 3G, which is a human patient simulator mannequin. The Simman 3G has a fixed cannula. That means you do not remove the venflon. You remove the cannula cap. You do this so that you can insert a giving set. You push in and turn. Make sure that it is sturdy, but not too tight so that you can't remove it when you need to. You're going to have a bag of fluids. You're going to have a drip stand. This is just as you would in practice. You can actually push fluids directly into the Simman 3G and he will measure the volume and the rate of the infusion. When it's time to remove the IV cannula, do not remove the venflon. That stays in place. Just put a cannula cap back in. You would have removed the tagoderm and all the dressing that was around the venflon earlier. There's an assortment of equipment you need alcohol gel, gloves, alcohol wipes, tourniquet, IV cannula, giving set, suitable plaster, syringe, saline, a sharp spin. Not all of this is visible in this video, but you know that when you go into practice, you'll probably see a drip stand. This is the same during a simulation or scenario. You'll also see a bag of fluids, and this bag of fluids will be in date for the simulation or scenario. You'll have your gloves, your fluids, your giving set, your cannula cap, and tagoderm. In practice, you'll have a greater array of items, as mentioned earlier. You'll follow local trust gui guidance relating to these items. The most important thing to remember about the Simman 3G is that his cannula is fixed. If you have any questions, just contact your personal tutor. And if you think this video can be improved, just leave a comment. Thanks a lot. Take care.